Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. Okay, today I'm going to go ahead and go over this bore care. This is something I mes mentioned back in episode 86 where I did the Taurus application around the foundation. Uh, this product's a little bit different. It's designed to go directly onto wood itself and protecting that. And it can also be applied to brick and masonry and concrete which can prevent these termites from actually building tunnels over that to get to the wood. Now, it, this also comes with a mold care component. It comes with or without it. I actually got the one that has it with it because it is going to be going in a crawl space where there's potential moisture problems and can also create mold and fungus on those timbers. Now, I'm also going to be using another product called Market Blue, and this is going to be a contrast agent so I can see where this is being sprayed since this is a relatively clear product. And it's also a very thick product, and I will have to use hot water in order to get it to mix down with this drill and that long paddle bit. Now, this Pro Foam can also be added to it if you're trying to uh, get into tight places and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to get into that. I just want you to know that this Pro Foam does exist and can be used with bore care. And, of course, using the standard uh, respirator there and gloves just to be safe even though I think this is a relatively safe product to work with so just stay tuned to the mixing. Okay I'm under the house and what we're looking at is the underside of the front porch and all this area should be treated extremely well with bore care because you can use bore care on masonry products. Now I did treat the ground level inside this area with Taurus and it's also treated outside this area with Taurus as well but this is a good thing to put on these block walls to prevent them from building them tunnels up. Now I'm going to back the camera on out. This is a support beam that goes all the way around the perimeter of the house and some people may get a little alarmed by this but really this is kind of normal what you see this cracking uh, that's checking that's just basically caused from being nearly 60 years old it's really not that big a deal and I'm actually kind of glad it's there because it'll help that bore care penetrate this a little deeper. And you can see up here above, this is the rim joist, and so this will be sprayed at the lower portion as well. But know this too, if you have a crawl space and, you, and you're thinking about putting foam insulation in it, well, just know that there's some termite companies that, that may not write a policy as a result of this. And so you need to check with them before you do this. But really the general rule is that they have about a two inch inspectable window there just in case they need to come in and inspect this area for termites. And so I did leave that inspectable area on the, along the uh, rim joist. Now another area you're going to want to treat is around any plumbing penetrations that come through the floor. But also inside the house as well, especially like under the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink where the pipes come through the wall. If, if, there's, if it's open right there, try to spray some of that bore care through that opening and spray that wood behind it. But after you do that, you know, seal it up with this stuff called great stuff that you can, which is a foam sealant. You really don't want any open penetrations in your walls. But another place I'm going to be spraying too is all these piers, especially around the top and the piers, I mean the beams themselves around the pier and also down below this pier as well. I'm not going to spray all the floor joists because it's an expensive product and I don't really think it's needed as long as it's sprayed along the outer perimeter. I probably will come out about a foot down each one of these support um, floor joists. So anyway, instead of dragging that pump up sprayer around and just showing you where I'm spraying all this stuff, I figured to save time and to make this video shorter, i just go ahead and show you where I am going to apply the product. Okay, so we're at the mixing part now. I've already split this batch one time, so I'm only going to be doing this in about two and one quarter gallon batches. Uh, for preventative measures, the mix is one to five, so that it would be one gallon of this to five gallons of water. But there again, I've split it, and I use these buckets to split that mix. In other words, I fill this bucket up here to the two quart mark, which I'd have been the half a gallon, and then I also split the bore care mold with this flask. So that's already been done. So basically I just have half the product left in this container. And so I went in and set my thermostat up to 120 degrees. I got a tankless water heater. I've already got one gallon, about one gallon of hot water in there. 
that was some of the residue left over from the first batch I made. And so we also have the blue marking agent, uh, market blue, and that's going to be the contrast agent for the this product when I go to spray it. So I'll go ahead and pour in. You can see how thick this product is. It's like molasses. It's really, really thick. And that's why I only put one gallon of water in because I'm going to put a I'm going to fill this, or at least halfway up, full of hot water so I can rinse the rest of this product out of the container. I mean, you can almost sit here for 10 minutes letting this flow out, but I'm going to stop it right about here because I can rinse the rest out. Now, the mold care product's not that thick. Okay, so now I'm going to set this out. So I can rinse this jug out. Hot. And you're going to need hot water. This is really thick. And that's, and that's why I pretty much did this in two and a half gallon batches. Because I didn't want this product to cool on me. Because I'm in a tight area in the crawl space and it's taking me a little bit longer to, to apply it. So I put a little bit in this bowl carry in. We'll reapply the caps. I say the label, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. so. If you want to freeze frame this, you can. So you at least get a, a general idea what the top of this label says. Now the instructions are behind this. And you can mix this product for whatever type of need you want to apply this for. Okay, we got all the product out. Now we're going to add two ounces of this contrast agent. And now for the mixing. And you need to mix this for a pretty good while because you really want to thin this out as much as it can be thin. It's a pretty thick product. And if you don't do that, it'll clog up the tip of the sprayer. Uh, I've already done one portion of the, of the crawl space down there. I'm almost through with it. And I can tell you already it's going on pretty good. That's about it. That hot water really helps. I'm going to rinse this off. I got this paddle bit off Amazon. It was uh, Amazon's choice. Of, I think it was about 10 bucks of free shipping. Works pretty good. Okay. So now it's just a matter of putting it in the sprayer and going back for round two. Okay, what we're looking at here is the framing on another house. I figured I'd show this in daylight. That way it'd be easier to see. And so you can see where I've applied this product to the rim joist and that support beam down below. And that contrast agent will allow you to see where the product's been sprayed. But if you're about to build a house, you want to treat all your framing prior to it being enclosed. And if you're proactive, there's a good chance you may prevent these termites right off the bat and also other insects as well. So I'm going to go into the crawl space and show you what I've done underneath there. Okay, what we're looking at now is the finished coat. This is actually the second coat I applied under this porch area. I really wanted to get that coated pretty good because this is an area where they're really likely to come in. And so if you have a front porch on your house that has an open cavity under the house, that's a real good area you need to pay attention to as far as getting that treated. Now it took me about an hour and a half 
to apply two coats of this and you're supposed to wait around 20 to 30 minutes after each coat but a lot of that's going to depend on how dry the wood is and also what the humidity is at the time you apply this product now fortunately for me we've had dry weather for about the past week and so i think we've got another four or five days of that so a lot of that depends on whether you got rainy weather and high humidity the main thing is just follow the instructions on the label and it'll tell you everything you need to do depending on how you want to use this product so i appreciate you taking the time to watch this episode and i have one more coming up and this is going to be the third leg of what i'm doing to prevent termites and other type of insects at my house thanks for watching